What is going on, Jerome? It is Wednesday. We are one day away from the 2023 NFL Draft. Thank goodness. And the Vikings are looking for the long-term Robin to Justin Jefferson's Batman. Now, yes, K.J. Osborne's in the mix, but he's a free agent next year, TBD, uh, if he sticks around or if he's going to get paid. So the draft, where the Vikings uh, are setting their sights, even though they only have five picks to potentially pick up one of these very solid wide receiver two, wide receiver threes in this draft class. And one of them is Jordan Addison, the 2021 Blitnikoff Award winner. Prior to Pitt, transferred to USC. Did some damn good things, uh, being Caleb Williams. BFF uh, for the men of Troy. Nah, 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 nah. And now, apparently, Jordan Addison loves himself some Minnesota Fighting Vikings. Uh, this is from Vikes Insider, uh, quoting Darren Wolfson. Uh, USC wide receiver Jordan Addison thoroughly enjoyed his draft visit with the Minnesota Vikings, according to Darren Wolfson. KSDP, the buzz is Jordan Addison would love to be a Viking. Uh, there's a lot of appeal. Uh, quote, this is Doogie. Uh, quote, there's a lot of appeal to being that number two receiver next to Justin Jefferson to playing in Kevin O'Connell's offense. Trust me. Trust me, bro. Uh, a lot of these draft prospects are well aware of those NFL people ratings uh, that say being a Minnesota Viking is a really, really good thing, uh, end quote. And, and Doogie's talking about the NFLPA report cards, talked about facilities and food and all, all this stuff, basically all the intangibles and amenities that go along with uh, being a professional, and not to mention uh, lining up uh, across and with the best wide receiver in the league, meaning you get to go up against corners cornerback twos, cornerback threes, as well as Kevin O'Connell uh, is seen as a young, innovative offensive mind. So, yeah. It would be a very plum job, although you would think that, you know, 120 plus uh, targets in this offense isn't getting an opportunity. Mm, it's weird, man. But let's talk about the pride of uh, USC today. Background, uh, Jordan Addison, 21 years young, true junior, 5'11", a buck 71, former four-star recruit from Frederick, Maryland, contributed right away uh, for the Pitt Panthers, uh, 60 catches, 666 yards, four touchdowns as a true freshman. Breakout. 2021. By the way, he was doing all this at 19 years old. 19 years old at Pitt, uh, but being Kenny Pickett's uh, security blanket, 100 catches, 1,593 yards, receiving 17 touchdowns on 144 targets, 88.8 PFF grade, numero uno in the country, a Blitnikoff Award winner for best wide receiver in the country, consensus All-American, partridge in a pear tree. He was just really fantastic, man. And after Kenny Pickett left Pitt, uh, he's no dummy. Like he wasn't eligible for the draft yet, but he transferred to USC, uh, followed Caleb Williams, uh, over, uh, and Lincoln Riley, uh, to uh, Los Angeles, 59 catches, 875 yards, receiving eight touchdowns. First team, all pack 12 and, uh, testing wise, he had a weird time testing where he, he's sort of like JSN where he isn't going to have that blazing straight line speed. Uh, mainly he's working out of the slot, but his agility, his route running ability, his footwork is really what sets him apart and he gets separation. So I don't really care uh, about the testing numbers. Same thing with my opinion of JSN. Like, can they play? They, they can play. And yeah, I have a straight line speed, a four four nine one five seven ten 5 7 10 yard split. It's not ideal, especially with all these physical freaks out there, but Jordan Addison can play, and that is indeed uh, the bottom line. And 34 inch vert, ah, whatever. He's not going to be, he's 5'11, a buck 71. He's not going to be a jump ball guy anyway. Besides, the fade route is the dumbest route in all sports. I said it. Anyways, uh, scouting report from Lanzerline, NFL.com. Uh, projection round one comparison Tyler Lockett. Take that, man. Overview. Inside, outside, wide out with the speed and agility and footwork to confidently uh, to work confidently in all three levels uh, of the field. That's exactly what I said, where he's got play speed. Maybe he doesn't have testing speed. Whatever. But lacking the size and catch strength generally associated with high-impact performers on the next level. Addison's route running features acceleration, dynamic steering, and sudden turns at a moment's notice. Uh, again, that's why he didn't test great in the 40 when you run a straight line, but he did great in receiver drills. Yeah, uh, Actually, having him do football stuff crazy man uh, while he can get to the spot effectively he has trouble consistently winning battles when he has coverage company besides him uh, while Addison failed to make the uh, same impact he did in 2021 his usage at Pitt might be a better indicator of the type of role and production he could be capable of on the next level and Addison prim primarily played slot at Pitt outside uh, at USC and, and that's notable because I think what happened is after Addison's uh, amazing 2021 season, all the draft nicks were like, oh, he's just going to be a slot guy, which in, in in the day of 11 personnel, even though, yes, the Vikings are trending towards heavier personnel, I mean, it's it's not bad. I mean, uh, your third wide receiver is basically your starter on offense. So maybe that's what he heard. Maybe he's like, hey, I need to be on the outside a little bit more to help my draft stock. Baloney. 
b- baloney. He'll operate from the slot in the NFL for the most part, and, and he'll go from there, man. Uh, but he extremely polished route runner. He's a threat at all three levels. And yes, you know, college offense uh, with the Trojans. Uh, yeah, that's sort of the same knock that they get against Jalen Hyatt and Cedric Tillman. But I, I don't really have a concern. Did have some drop issues at Pitt. They really got fixed at USC. And yeah, working primarily from the slot. Given his size, uh, I, he could struggle getting off a press. But of course, we said that about Justin Jefferson too. So uh, may, maybe not. But uh, for me, Addison. So JSN is clearly one. He's my number one guy, and it's really going to suck when he's a Packer and he's dead to me, but it is what it is. And uh, I've said this a bunch, where wide receiver two, again, specifically for the Vikings, it sort of goes in and out for me, where one day it's Addison at two, one day it's Johnston at two, one day it's Zay Flowers at two. So I would say Johnston, Addison, Flowers are in that second tier uh, behind a JSN, who's in a tier by himself. And then you, you put you know Josh Downs and Hyatt and Tillman and Reed and Mims, Tank Dell, Booty, uh, you know, Michael Wilson in, in there as well. And this, this is a very deep wide receiver class. Like there's going to be receivers that go rounds four and five. that are going to be contributors within uh, two years. Uh, so it, it's a good class to take uh, a shot at a wide receiver. And, you know, like I said, you have Jefferson at wide receiver one, uh, KJ Osborne is wide receiver two, but he's a free agent after the season. So, uh, having a guy like Addison, would certainly fill, uh, fit the bill here, especially uh, if you do get a guy like Jalen Speedy Naylor, six-round pick last year. Maybe you get his uh, straight-line speed uh, and vertical ability. Maybe he gets integrated into the offense, which would be awesome. Maybe you actually get something out of Jalen Rager. Maybe Brandon Powell coming over from the Rams does a little something-something. Maybe Jackson or Prol get going. Who, who knows? But adding a guy like Addison, man. Baby, it would be fantastic sitting at 23. The Vikings would have to get through a bit, a bit of a gauntlet as you know, even outside of the Packers in the teens and early 20s, there, there's obviously teams that are in need of wide receiver help. You look at the Patriots, uh, you look at, I mean, how the Lions could take a receiver, uh, the Seahawks at, at, with their second first round pick, the Chargers, uh, the Ravens, all plausibly, uh, you can make the case that they could use some receiver help too. So it may be a wing and a prayer. And they may, may need a little bit of help, but Jordan Addison reportedly is fired up about being a Viking, and I would love to have him at, with Jefferson long term. And also, ooh, he's got a J in his name. So that means that he's good to go. JJ, TJ, KJ, Jordan Addison, as well as Jalen Naylor and Jalen Rager. Tristan Jackson. Ooh, nailed it. Brandon Powell, step up your J. Well, maybe his middle name has a J. I don't know. But anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Jordan Addison reportedly loves the Minnesota Vikings. We love him back. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Once more the work, put a little something in the Venmo, as well as check out the store, purplefw.net. But until next time, Skull Production Value.